In this video you will uh, learn the difference uh, or at least the differences that I found between uh, the TB6600 and the DM556. So if you are wondering what, uh, what are those uh, two uh, members or uh, names, uh, they are uh, the names of uh, two uh, stepper motor controllers. The ones that you see already un unboxed on the table are the TB6600 and the one that I just uh, unboxed is the new uh, Kamin DM556. I heard that it uh, was a good one, so I wanted to test it and I will share with, with you my experience with it. From what we will be seeing, uh, the connectors of the two different uh, stepper motor controller are not the same so um, you know the uh, for example the power supply is not at the same place and uh, the order of a plus a minus b plus b minus is reversed uh, if you compare the two stepper motor controller they are reversed also will cause the stepper motor to uh, run in the opposite direction if you use the first stepper motor or the second type of the stepper motor. This happens if you uh, use the connector that is already plugged to the stepper motor with the, the first stepper motor controller or the other one without reversing the, the cables. Also you can see that the, 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 the pulse and the, the enable uh, pins are also not at the same order if you check uh, for the two stepper motor controllers. You can see also that the DM556 is uh, more powerful, so it's uh, capable of uh, providing uh, more important current, uh, 5.6 ampere, up to 5.6 ampere for the DM556 and uh, for the TB66 uh, Zero zero, it can provide up to 3.5 amperes. You have also more options with respect to the pulse per revolution if you choose the DM556. It can go from what I see to 25k pulse uh, per revolution, uh, but the TB6600 can go uh, just uh, up to 6400 uh, pulse per revolution. This is uh, uh, closely related to the micro stepping. And uh, today I will be showing you how to use also the uh, GPIO extension board for the Raspberry Pi. I struggled a little bit to plug it to my Raspberry Pi too and uh, uh, at the same time keeping uh, the, the box of that Raspberry Pi. Uh, but it's a good one, I can advise uh, I can advise you to, to use it because it's uh, more flexible and it protects the pins of the Raspberry Pi. Hey guys, you can fast forward the, the video if you want to, to skip these steps of me plugging the extension board, GPIO extension board to the Raspberry Pi. I had already played with the code uh, and uh, the stepper motor, the TB6600 in the past so i have a code that uh, contains the pins uh, so i wanted to make sure that i will plug the the pins correspondingly to the code so that's what we will be seeing uh, next i'm trying to connect to the raspberry pi and then uh, retrieve the pin numbers for the dir especially for the dir and the pulse and then plug uh, the motor controller correspondingly to the pins, uh, the GPIO pins uh, of the Raspberry Pi. That's what you will be seeing next. So here the Raspberry Pi is up and running and I will be um, going in VS Code inside the, the folder uh, that contains my code. And I will run the code using the TB6600 in the beginning. And you will see the sound and the behavior of the of the stepper motor it's making a lot of noise and um, yeah a uh, lot of noise not very stable but it can do the job that's what i can say it's also very cheap 
compared to the DM556, it's uh, near uh, almost uh, double the price. If I had to choose uh, from the beginning, I would uh, take the DM556. I like when it's uh, smooth and uh, not noisy and stable. And because we are uh, doing uh, robotics, we need uh, stability and we need uh, also the noise and vibration, reduce the, the vibration, uh, everything that comes with the noise. Uh, the code uh, that uh, is written uh, now, it uh, consists of uh, three steps that will repeat. An acceleration of the speed, maintaining the max speed, and then a deceleration. And then we repeat, we reverse the, the direction and then we do the same again and again. That's what we will see in the code that is uh, available in uh, my GitHub uh, repo. Uh, and then that's uh, what you will see in the video. As you see and hear uh, the noise, it can even increase when you accelerate uh, slowly hear the, that noise i will show it maybe in another video you saw also the rpms so i'm uh, having uh, in the code uh, as a parameter the max rpm the initial rpm and uh, the fraction of the acceleration and fraction of deceleration uh, while uh, uh, performing the rotation of the stepper motor now i will take care of uh, plugging the dm556 uh, to the stepper motor same thing same way that we did uh, for the TB6600 and then we will see the uh, so rotation of the stepper motor using this uh, motor stepper motor controller as you hear and see stepper motor is very stable no noise I can only advise uh, to use it uh, with uh, your stepper motor project. So very good feedback from my side. You can zoom in on the screen and take a look at the code or go to the GitHub repo to see the code. In the figure you see that the acceleration, maintaining the speed and decelerations uh, of the RPM. Here I just uh, modified the max uh, RPM to 200. So it's uh, going fast, as you see. And if you want to continue the adventure and follow with me, I will be adding next uh, the forearm arm that you see uh, in gray on the table and much more in the next future. So hit the subscribe button, like if you like the video. If you have any question, you drop them in the comments. I will come back for sure for you and uh, answer them. I may even make a video just for that uh, question. So keep you posted and see you next time.